Hello, my name is Kelly Blue, and I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to my 15 minutes of Zen, where we draw together. We focus on one tangle using the Zentangle method of drawing and just try to get relaxed. So today I'm using a Micron 05 pen, a Zentangle brand graphite pencil, and a white tortillon for blending. Feel free to use any writing utensil you have on hand, any kind of a pencil for shading, and if you don't have a tortillon, you can use a Q-tip, your finger, or the corner of a napkin. All right, I also have a two inch by two inch square tile I'm working on. This is a Zentangle brand tile called the Bijou Tile. You can draw on whatever you have, but I recommend making a small square to work in. All right, to get started, on the back, I always write the name of the tangle we are working on. So today we are working on Senna, and I just put the ZT because it is a Zen Tangle Created Tangle. All right, to get started, I'm gonna pick up my pencil, and I'm going to make four dots, one in each corner, And then I'm going to connect those dots. I'm sorry, it's getting blurry. This is just to frame in our piece. I'm not concerned with making them straight. And then for this tangle today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to actually draw a heart. In the middle of my box. Okay, then I'm going to switch to pen. So Senna is a series of lines and instead of just going straight off of the edge and making the lines this way, I'm going to use Senna to create a little bit of a flow. So I'm going to go ahead and ink in my heart and then I'm going to kind of curve off of this and create my first line when you're doing Senna there's no right or wrong way it doesn't matter what size thickness pen you use it doesn't matter what your lines look like it's just a fun way of of filling in a space. So now I'm going to mimic that, or I guess aura it, a few times. And I'm just sort of going back up in here. I'm not necessarily going a millimeter away each time. And now just for fun, I added a little bit of a curve to my line. You see how that just adds a little element of fun. All right, I'm gonna continue up here. And again, you can see that I'm kind of staying close in here and then going out a little ways when I go out to the line. And then I'm going to change this up a little bit. I just added a bit of a curve. And one thing about Senna is that no matter which way you go, it'll turn out. So now I'm kind of catching up to my space here. So I am going to start going over a little bit more. Just like that. All right, I think it's kind of time to change it up again. So I'm going to add a little curve.
Well, senna isn't typically done off of a shape. Often it's just done off of a line of some sort. But I kind of thought this would be fun today. Still have some curve going on here. Just adds a little bit of interest. It's up to you how many lines you want to add when you're doing this and how close together. I'm trying to start where the first line started and then I come out a little. Go back up this way. And I'm not concerned about making these lines match up perfectly at the end. So I've got a bit of a space. And I'm just going to continue making some lines like that. Now I'm going to go back in and ink my border. Okay, that is Senna, but now we're going to do a couple of things to it. So one thing that you can do is go back and add some weight to some of these lines close to that heart shape. So I can just thicken those up a little bit at the ends. See the difference there? Then go back in, add some little details. I'm going to have to thicken every one. But I like the look of that. Another thing you can do is add some weight at the end of these. So to do that, I tend to follow a line down and make it wide. Widen it up a little bit and add a little bit of weight. Look at the difference that makes versus these over here. So that takes a little while if you want to go through and get all those done. But when we're doing the Zentangle method of drawing, we're trying to relax, take a few minutes for ourselves. And I'm not thinking of the end product so much as I am just enjoying making these lines and adding little bit of enhancements. Look at the difference that does. I really like that a lot. Just keep going around. You could also, if you didn't want to do the weight, or maybe along with these little weighted lines, you could go back in and add some orbs or some patterns in between some of these lines. Add a little bit of character, a little bit of detail. You also can always go back and add a line in between two of them if you feel like you've got a big space. Like perhaps right here, I might just throw a line in because I had a little bit of a space.
And I feel like Senna is one that I can do kind of mindlessly. I'm just sitting and doodling. Just add a bunch of lines to something. All right, I'm almost done filling in these edges. And I would not have to do every single one. Sometimes you just do a couple of them. But I kind of like the look of that. Okay. Add a little bit of thickness to some of those. And I think I'll be good. Okay. There we go. I want to do a little bit of shading. So this is when I pick up my pencil. And to shade this one, I'm going to go around the outside edge of the heart. And I'm just kind of putting a little bit of graphite down along the edges. And along the side. I like working with small tiles because I can move them as I work. Okay, I'm also going to do the inside of this edge here. And I'm going to put kind of a lot down. Try to make it a little bit dark. side in the top I'm just gonna put a little bit more down right against that edge I like it to be nice and dark okay then I'm gonna take my blending tool and in a circular motion I'm gonna soften this part here and as I'm softening it, I'm also kind of pushing it out towards that middle of the shape. What you want to do is, is blend it so that it goes darker to lighter. And the same with this down here. I'm gonna sort of push that out into that shape. I don't want a straight line. Okay, all the way around. And this side. You can always go back in and add more graphite if you'd like those edges to be a little bit darker. Sometimes once you smooth them out, you lose that really dark spot on the end. So I can go back in and add a little bit more if I'd like. I'm trying to point my pencil towards that line so I get a more precise lay down of the graphite. I'm gonna go around the heart a little bit more. And then just soften again. I also am trying, even though I've got a lot of graphite on here, I'm trying to leave a spot in the middle that has no graphite on it, right around here. I'm trying to leave that little white area there. And what this does is it gives it sort of a pillow effect, as if that heart and this outer edge are down low, and then we have this pillowing up little form there. And that's Senna. Again, if you wanted to go back and add any enhancements in here, you could add some designs or decorations or a word inside a few of these. This is your piece. I want you to enjoy it. Do what you want. 
And then we always put our initials on the front of our work. And on the back, I like to put the date. And then I always put just a line or two of a journal entry of something going on in my life right now or whatever I was thinking about while I was relaxing and drawing. Kind of like a little journal. And that is Senna. Thank you for joining me.